Hey everyone, I'm Marina. If you're new here, I'm an applied scientist at Amazon with too many interests, professionally and otherwise. Today I want to talk about something I know stresses out a lot of people in the field, how to stay up to date in AI and machine learning without feeling completely overwhelmed. The pace of innovation in AI is obviously kind of ridiculous right now. Every week, there are literally dozens of new papers, tools, and techniques being released. If you're trying to keep up with everything, you're gonna have a bad time. And if you're a beginner who's still trying to learn the fundamentals, it's even more overwhelming. My goal for this video is to give you a practical strategy for up-leveling your skills to stay current in AI ML that's actually sustainable for someone with a full-time job and maybe even a life. By the end, you'll have a framework for filtering out the noise, focusing on what matters for your career, and building knowledge that you can actually use. Before we dive into how to stay current, we need to address a fundamental mistake that a lot of beginners make. Too many people start with whatever tech is trending right now and then try to find problems that it could solve. But if you want to advance your career in AI ML, you need to flip that approach. Start with business problems and then work backwards to the technologies that can solve them most effectively, which may or may not be something brand new. For those of you who are employed, this means developing a strong focus on business metrics and understanding how your machine learning work directly moves those metrics. Ask yourself questions like this. What problems is my company actually trying to solve? How are we measuring success? Which technologies would meaningfully improve these metrics at the right cost and complexity? This approach of course makes you more valuable professionally, but it also naturally narrows down what technologies you actually need to learn at any given time. If you're still learning or between jobs, you can apply this same thinking to your projects. Instead of just implementing the latest architecture because it's cool, work backwards from problems you genuinely want to solve. Create real end-to-end -end solutions that address all aspects of the problem, from data processing to deployment and beyond. Document your decision-making process and the trade-offs you considered, and think critically about how your solution would scale in a production environment. Trust me on this, hiring managers are not impressed by projects that just use the newest tech. They're looking for candidates who demonstrate they understand how to build reliable, scalable, and practical solutions to real problems. That kind of thinking will set you apart far more than knowing the latest architecture or tool. Now that we have the right mindset about what matters, let's talk about how to actually stay informed without drowning in information. The first critical mindset shift is accepting the fact that you cannot and should not try to follow everything. Instead, you need to develop a system for identifying what actually matters for your work. Here's how to approach that. First, find a handful of high quality curated sources that can provide you with a high level overview of the field. So these might include things like weekly newsletters like The Batch from deeplearning.ai, channels like Yannick Kilsher on YouTube for research paper summaries, and quarterly review papers that synthesize recent advances. These sources will be basically your initial filter. When something appears across multiple of these sources, that's a strong signal that it's worth paying attention to. Once you've filtered out a lot of the noise, then what should you focus on? This is where strategic specialization comes in. If you're specialized in something like computer vision, NLP, reinforcement learning, or any other subfield, it of course makes sense to follow papers and developments in that specific area more closely. For finding and staying on top of relevant papers, you can try things like setting up Google Scholar alerts for key terms or researchers in your focus area. You can follow conferences specific to your specialty, or you can join things like specialized Discord communities where people are you know, sharing papers and that kind of thing. The narrower your focus, the deeper your expertise can become, and actually often this makes you more valuable in the marketplace. That being said, if you see something outside of your specialization that's really interesting to you, follow that curiosity. There's nothing wrong with exploration as long as it's fun and engaging and just not causing you extra stress. So once you know what you need to learn and pay attention to, how do you actually find time to do it? First, you've heard it before, but you need to build systems, not rely on willpower. I study consistently even with a full-time job and various side projects, and this is largely because I've developed really strong habits that don't require any daily decision making on my part. Do things like design your environment to make studying the default behavior. Keep your learning materials visible and accessible and, you know, distractions as far away as you can. For me, that means keeping relevant papers downloaded on my desktop and disabling all notifications during my designated study time. Second, understand your personal energy patterns and work with them, not against them. I'm a morning person, so I work on the most technically challenging learning in the first few hours of my day when my brain is most cooperative. Save your peak mental energy hours for deep learning uh -huh, and use your lower energy periods for lighter things like watching tutorials or organizing your notes. Next, habit stacking really, really helps. Attach your learning habit to something you already do consistently. So for example, you might read AI news with your morning coffee, listen to research podcasts during your commute, or review a paper before your weekly team meeting. When you stack these habits, they become automatic parts of your routine rather than something you have to kind of remember to do. And again, the key here is consistency, not necessarily intensity. You don't need to study for hours a day, just chip away at it over time consistently every day. Fourth thing, 
Manage your attention budget with intention. Your focused attention is your most precious and limited resource, so be deliberate about where you spend it. 20 minutes scrolling on social media doesn't just take time away from your day, it's actually training your brain to expect constant novelty and instant gratification, which makes it harder to focus on challenging and possibly boring material after that. Finally, don't underestimate how much your physical and mental health impacts your cognitive abilities. Regular exercise, proper nutrition, adequate sleep, and even mindfulness practices all really, really, really help your attention and focus. Don't skip this stuff if you want to be successful, even if it doesn't seem obviously relevant. What works for me is to schedule specific times for fitness, meditation, and learning, or working on projects. It becomes routine and I don't need to think about it or convince myself to do what I know I'm supposed to be working on at that time. If you still find that you struggle with consistency, it might help to find a community. Learning is often easier and more enjoyable when you're not doing it alone. If you're employed, join or start a paper reading group at your company. It's a nice way to stay motivated, make connections with your colleagues, and deepen your understanding through discussion. If a reading group at work isn't an option for you, look for local meetups or virtual communities. There are tons of Discord servers, Reddit communities, and LinkedIn groups dedicated to AIML learning at various levels. Speaking of paper reading groups and collaborative learning, this is actually the perfect time to mention today's sponsor, Note2Go. I've always found that one of the biggest challenges with any kind of learning community is that someone always gets stuck taking notes instead of fully participating in the discussion. Note2Go is the first AI agent for real-time meeting notes that actually solves this problem. It's not just transcribing the conversations, but it's actively listening, understanding what's being said, and summarizing the key points. And it even tags action items throughout the meeting. That means that everyone gets to be fully present in the conversation, and Nodigo handles capturing all the important takeaways. I also use Nodigo when watching YouTube videos or online lectures about new AI developments. It lets me actually pay attention and make my own connections while the video is playing, instead of just focusing on typing down notes. Then I can also review Nodigo's summary later as a refresher, which is important for me since I usually need to review concepts a couple of times before they stick. If you've ever dealt with kind of mid transcripts, forgotten key decisions from a meeting, or getting distracted by taking notes to the point where you're not actually learning, Note2Go is a perfect option for your productivity stack in 2025. You can try Note2Go free with my link in the description below. There's one more thing I think is really important to address with all this. At the heart of all this effort to stay current is actually a slightly deeper question. Why are you doing all of this in the first place? Learning just because you feel like you should or because you're afraid of falling behind isn't sustainable in the long run. External motivation eventually fails. You need something deeper to keep going. For me, it comes back to wanting to excel in my career so that I can support my friends and family and simply doing my best because I recognize what a privilege it is to be able to learn these things and push myself. When I connect with that purpose, staying current doesn't feel like a burden. It feels like an investment in something I deeply care about. If this feels kind of foreign to you, I recommend using the five whys technique to figure out your own authentic motivation. Just keep asking yourself why until you get to something that genuinely resonates with you on a deeper level. Without this connection to purpose, all the techniques and systems I've shared will eventually fail, but with it, they can become powerful tools in service to something meaningful. Staying current in AIML isn't about frantically trying to read every single paper and implement every new technique. It's about being strategic, focusing on what truly matters for your specific goals, and building real stuff with what you learn. So remember, start with business problems, not shiny tools. You don't need to follow everything. Be selective. Specialize and go deep in your area of expertise. Build things. Don't just read. Be consistent with your learning. Find a community and connect with your deeper motivation. The folks who thrive in this field aren't the ones who know everything, because that's literally impossible. They're the ones who know the right things and can apply what they know effectively to solve problems. If you found these strategies helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on navigating the AIML landscape. Drop a comment sharing your own strategies for staying current without getting overwhelmed. I'd love to hear what works for you. See you next time.